What is going on guys, this is EK1Gaming here, and in today's video, yes that's right, we are going to be bringing you a very easy and, you know, a very fast way to get your season pass level to 100 or to wherever you want it at, maybe you want that memento backpack, etc. Now before we get into the method, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time we go live or we upload a video. Now let me know in the comment section below how many levels you've done in using this method or if you use a different method. Now as I stated, this is going to be probably the best method and I'm going to call it this is the best method to level up your watch and your season pass. Now let's get straight into the video. So to start with, what you're going to want to do is put your map on heroic and also activate every single one of those directives. Now this is optional, you can leave a couple off or one off if you want to, it's totally up to you, but obviously you'll get less XP if you don't have them all on. Right now, you're going to go then and look on your map for resource convoys now there should be quite a lot on your map they i believe it's better if you clear your map because you have more places to actually fast travel to but just basically look on your map resource convoys head over there and complete the objective now i will say there's a couple of pointers that i'll give with this okay once you get there you're probably going to have no ammo etc so if you just switch your build sometimes it gives you some ammo so i'm just going to switch now to my ar build just a lot of damage build i would recommend because of the directives having some kind of blood sucker or something on your backpack that's going to give you that armor back and um, obviously don't use skills because you know you've got to keep picking up those green tags to make your skills come back again. And I would also recommend using two different types of weapon. So don't use like double AR because your ammo will go really fast because of Pistolero. Now basically all you've got to do is get to the resource convoy and complete it. Now how fast you can complete these is completely down to you. And it depends really where the NPCs are actually spawning from. Sometimes they literally just spawn right in front of you. Sometimes they'll spawn away from you and they'll have to run towards you. And if you're really lucky you'll get one like you'll see me do um, later today. Is you'll see me they're just coming out of a manhole cover. And I can literally just kill them really fast. Now. Again, just make sure you take your time doing them because if you wipe, obviously you've lost time and also um, you'll lose that uh, resource convoy. Now for me, I reckon on an average I probably have like four or five on the map at any one time. Um, so you can pretty much rotate around them and by the time I've rotated and done the five, there's usually another few popped up on the map as well. However, I did find a stage yesterday where I had zero on my map. I reset my map, I logged out, logged back in and none of them would come back. I don't know what caused that and if I find out, I'll update it in the comment section below. But I believe it's just a case of, you know, bad luck for me. There was just none around at all. So once you're going ahead and you're uh, you're completing the actual resource convoy, you'll find that there's a, a slight difference in XP. So you'll receive a certain amount of XP on screen. So it will say once you collected the resources, it will say you get like 300 something thousand on the screen. However, you actually get 600 odd thousand. So it, it doubles basically. It's pretty much double what you're meant to get on every single resource convoy, which is absolutely fantastic. It's pretty much a level every resource convoy that you do. So this is by far the best way of doing it. It's, you know, the, the other method that I showed you, yeah, it was fast XP um, for a solo player just to quickly run and do it. Um, again, I recommend doing this on solo because of obviously the scaling when it comes to more people. But as you can see, you can see resource convoys all over the place and you can literally just keep on rinsing, repeating, rinsing, repeating. The more of the map you have unlocked, the better it will be for you because for me, I didn't unlock any of the map because I reset all my control points to try and get the... Um, to try and get the resource convoys to appear yesterday and I just haven't bothered going around doing them all again so for me I'm limited where I can fast travel to and how far I'm going to wait be away from each one but I mean it's pretty easy it's not that difficult to do if I'm being honest if you can just take your time steadily do it you know you're going to go up one level each time 
and you know and pretty much when the NPCs come out like this you'll know exactly where those NPCs are going to be coming from because they all come from the same direction so you know after you've killed these ones that you will in fact have them coming out that same door which there or behind the building should I say and you know sometimes it does get a bit difficult if you're missing shots like me you know I'm trying to record and miss shots didn't notice the grenade and you know you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble they will kill you you know if I told you that I did this every time without dying I'd be lying to you but I am using an all red build you know this is just an all damage build ideally maybe put on a DPS tank build and you could just go in there with your shield and just take them all down but with the uh, directives, it does make it a little bit harder, you know, with the special ammo and all that stuff. So it's a little bit frustrating sometimes, especially if you get like a um, um, an elite resource convoy. Because obviously there's more NPCs and they're harder to kill. But I generally just stick to the normal uh, resource convoys. You know, I do have a go at an elite one if I find it, you know. Um, but generally for me... I just stick to the normal ones. I'm getting enough XP. And as long as you're happy with that XP, it doesn't really matter, you know. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't matter if you're going to get that extra little bit from doing a an elite one or whatever you want to do. Now, quick note, make sure you pick up the green things on the ground because that will get you your skills back. And also, uh, make sure you pick up any ammo that drops on the ground as well because you're going to be, uh, you're pretty much going to be stuck uh, when it comes to uh, running out of ammo. Because you you can't basically um, just go to an ammo box and pick up ammo. However, run Gunner. And you will generate ammo as you're going around anyway. So look all around your map and find the one that's best suited for you. The easiest for you to get to. And I'll tell you some pointers in a second as well. And I'll show you what I mean by these pointers. So basically what I'm going to tell you is... If there's a resource convoy next to something like a control point, it's on top of it, do not go to it. Because if you start shooting at that resource convoy, that control point's going to get aggroed. Likelihood is then your, your quick little convoy has turned into a whole control point and you've wasted time. You could literally have just cl killed one, control, uh, one convoy, moved on to the next one and carried on with your um, leveling up. Now... Um, Another thing I'll say is if you see like two together, generally they'll be near a another kind of um, interaction like, I don't know, propagandas and stuff like that. So be careful of that as well. Um, if you get one like this one, where they, uh, I believe this is where they're actually going to spawn out of the manhole cover, then it's brilliant, you know, try and get them here every time. But of course they do move around. And if you're chasing one and they go too far away from you or they get to their objective area, it will disappear and you will lose it. So make sure you get to them as quick as possible when you see them just to prevent yourself from, uh, from chasing it for ages and then losing where it actually is. So as you can see on here, they're just going to spawn right in front of me, which is uh, which is pretty good here. So they go straight out of the manhole cover. The first time I didn't realise, but then after that you know where they're going to come from next time. So make sure you take your time, line it all up, and just literally mow them down as they come out. Now again, I use my AR build. If you want to know where my AR build is located, it is on my channel, and it is the raid build that I use. And again, you just seen, we completed this in, what was that, 15, 20, 30 seconds maybe? I don't know, maybe, are we going to go 30 seconds? I haven't counted. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy hunting. Get that level 100, or at least get that level 90 memento backpack. And I will see you all in the next video. Let's go!